You know, blimps are pretty cool. They were probably one of the first VTOLs. Don't fact check me on that. And they were also just massive. But of course, there's some drawbacks like being slow and highly explosive. But you know what's not slow and highly explosive? Drones! They are not highly explosive and they are definitely not slow. So you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. Today we are mixing both a blimp and drones. So you guys know the drill, let's make a corn dog inspired blimp. Perfect, now let's make the tiny little drones. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good to me. So now that we have the drones and the blimp, let me combine them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as you guys can see, we have a corn dog inspired blimp. Now it does look a little bit like a space pod, but I kind of like that. And of course, like I said, it is a hot dog. Sorry, whoa, 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 whoa. Corn dog inspired. As you can see, the flame is the stick and, well, the whole frame of the uh, blimp here is a corn dog. So as you can see, my little chirpo man is on the inside steering this thing. And I am so happy to say that this thing works so good. As you can see on the bottom here, it's pretty seamless. But of course, uh, it's not perfect. But when I click E, you can see that it opens up. Look at how epic that is. Okay, so I need to slow down just a little bit here because they really don't like it when I'm moving extremely fast and then I decide to drop them all. So, here we go. Let me go ahead and slow down and I'm uh, gonna go ahead and click Q. You'll see them all fall out. In three, two, one, here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at them go, dude, look at them go, all of them, all of them are just flying around. Oh, this looks so crazy, this looks so crazy, dude. Okay, so I have three that dropped out this side, and three that dropped out on this side, but uh, some seem to be a little bit faster than others, just because they dropped a little bit earlier, so they picked up some speed. But I love the quantum rudders, you could actually see all of them fly around. And surprisingly, none of them have crashed, none of them have broke on the way out. I think some of them may have like broken off the little tail here. But other than that, I mean, wow, they are still just flying around and circling around me. And uh, that was actually what I was going for, it's actually pretty cool. Of course, nobody wants a drone that just completely crashes and explodes, oh, like uh, that guy over there. You want the drones to protect you. you want Want them to circle around your giant explosive bag of gas. So yeah, pretty cool. And I just saw that one crash into the water. So that was also really cool. But if we go ahead and just rebuild here, you could see that if I open up the Bombay doors that they are all just recharged in there. Reloaded? I don't really know what you'd call that. But either way, this thing is just so cool. I love the aesthetics of this build. I love the front glass. I love the pirate ship steering wheel. I love it all. So let's go ahead and go through this little ring here. Here we go. And easy peasy. That was so perfect. All right, and now that we're actually a little bit low to the ground, I actually want to test out how these drones work. Here we go. Let me click Q. There they go. Oh man, some of them hit each other. Oh, one exploded already. Oh, another one. Okay. So, uh, I, I thought I just saw a shadow of one more. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, another one. Oh, that one sounded so satisfying. And it seems that there is one more drone actually stuck inside. It's a little hard to see, but we're going to try and get him out. Come on, get out of there. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's flying straight up. He's flying straight up. Watch him come back around and just completely hit us. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. But he's dive bombing. He is dive bombing. Oh, he hit the mountain. All right, let's rebuild. Let's try this again just a little bit higher because uh, yeah, clearly that was just a little bit too low. So drop. Oh, it's so satisfying. I don't know why that last one always hits, but it does. <laughs> and oh, that's so cool to see from a distance, man. Here they go, circling around me, protecting me. Oh boy. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, that one skipped. A couple of them skipped on the dirt. Oh, that one went off the ramp. All right, well, let's close the Bombay doors. Let's go ahead and uh, fly around while these guys are just aimlessly uh, crashing into mountains in the ground. You know, I haven't tried the first person. I want to see how this looks. Oh my gosh, what? Dude, no way. This is actually really cool. I like this a lot. Okay, let's try and go through the, uh, the little bridge here, rock bridge. Here we go. Oh boy, we're going to totally hit some of these trees, aren't we? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. 
Okay, there we go. You know, it's nice and a blimp because you don't have these massive wings sticking out from the uh, the side of your craft here. Okay, well, because I'm in first person, I actually want to turn around. Let's see these Bombay doors open. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Okay, now drop all these guys. There they go. There they go. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Okay, okay, get out of that weird camera. And wow, they're just circling me, dude. This is crazy. This is totally giving me like Iron Man 3 where he has all his suits just completely obliterating themselves in the air. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really wondering what happens if I release all of these drones in here without actually opening the Bombay doors. So let's do a quick little test. Uh, let me do first person again. I just want to see what this looks like when I'm in here. Okay, very nice. So we're going to do Q first. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are we crashing yet? Oh, we're just we're kind of spinning. We're okay. All right. Well, let me go ahead and open up the doors. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was totally the wrong button. What the heck? All right. Well, uh, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Let them go. There we go. Okay, I need to make sure to click E. So they're all just kind of running around in here, and E! Oh, oh, only one fell out. Okay, we gotta, we gotta give it a little bit of a spin here. Come on, guys, fall out. Don't hit me. If you hit me, I'll fall out of my seat. That's not gonna be good. None of them are moving, though. Not one. They're just stuck. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy! I have to remember that they're full of TNT, so I can't be too harsh, but uh, from the looks of it, they're pretty resilient. Oh! Oh my gosh, what did I just say? I just said like 10 seconds ago that if they hit me, I'll fall out of my seat. And, uh, well, that's exactly what's happening. And look at that one. He's just flying away. He's still alive. All right, guys, last and final test here. I'm going to be going as fast as I possibly can. Unfortunately, the quantum rudders do slow me down quite a bit, but this is as fast as I could possibly go. And we're gonna try and drop all the drones at the same time. So Bombay doors are open, and Q. Oh, this isn't gonna work out well, is it? Oh, oh, some chunks have fallen, but I think that we are okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, they're actually getting a lot closer to me. Gosh, man, I love this so much. It is just so cool to see them all fly around me. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I, oh my goodness. I really do appreciate all the love and all of the support on all my videos. And of course, all of the super positive comments. I can't believe that we're almost to 6K. That is absolutely insane. Of course, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and share it with a friend. And as always, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.